Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of The Messenger. Last time we left off, we hit a pretty climactic point. Because, uh, yeah, we're here at the, like, layer of the, the, of the blue robes and all that jazz. And big things are happening, so... Hey, how you doing? Hey, it's you. I really missed that time when we did the thing. The others don't want to do it anymore. Welcome to the Tower of Time. I put it back into the headquarters form after you beat the challenge. Which I designed myself, by the way. If you want to replay it, let me know. You may have missed a few hidden things. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, we could've. We could've. We could've. So... Yeah, and there's also a crazy tentacle in there. Hi, crazy tentacle. Alrighty, so, uh, let's go over here. And, uh, see what we can do. Hi. So, what should I do next? Um, under the Shroud of Night, Crimson Tree Shelter, a magic note ready to be collected. Once the bird returns to the nest. Yeah, okay, so basically we're just going back to, to old areas. That's a, That's effectively all this is. So, if we go here... Bum, 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 bum. Hey, it works. Yeah, pretty neat. Things are probably gonna get cryptic from now on with all this profit business, so you'll probably want to make extensive use of your map. My... my map? Your... your map, yeah. I... don't have a map. Are... are you kidding me? I'm... I'm telling you, I, do, I don't have a map! Let me get this straight. We gave you a scroll. The fate of this whole world seemed to hinge on it. We gave you a hero title relating to it. You carried it for days across countless perilous situations, even through time itself, and you never even bothered reading it? You're an animal. <laughs> I love that scene so much. <laughs> Turns out the scroll was actually a map. Press LV to open it. It's time to explore and find new areas. Press LB to open your map, and here we go. Isn't that the coolest reveal? Isn't that the coolest reveal? I remember when I hit this point of the game, I was like, what the fuck? So, you know all those areas that uh, it, it looked like we should be able to access, but uh, we definitely couldn't at the time. Well, here you go, and then we even have a world map. Isn't that just the coolest? Isn't, isn't, that, isn't that just the, the, the damn neatest? I'll be in my shop. If you have the coin, I'd be happy to mess with the profit by pointing out the hints on your map. Safe now. Alright, bye-bye. <laughs> oh, I love that cutscene so, so much. Alright, so... We gotta move ahead now. Cause we got places to be, secrets to find. So, I'm probably gonna have to have this one be like a 30 minute episode, just so it doesn't get up late like it did yesterday. I am still trying to catch up after the vacation, but... Um, I should have enough time today to pretty much, um, catch up, so we should be good, but we shall see. So, but yeah, now we can just, uh, look at our map anytime we want to. And it's like, you know, a, a full-ass, like, Metroidvania map, which is nice. Uh, we can also see that we have seven of the power seals, which is quite cool. Alright, so as we can see, there's something back this way, um, over here. Uh, the, the little blue things are what show you that there's a room nearby. It's not like some game, some, like, Metroidvanias and stuff, where there's just, like, a small, not-outlined part of the map, and that's how you know that's where you're supposed to go. No, no, no. No, it doesn't work like that here. So, uh, I believe we can teleport to the various other places, too. Um, so, like, the other gates that aren't broken. Anything? Upgrade. All right, so now we have more upgrades. Cool. Adds a blue glow to rooms on the area map where you can shift between the past and future time periods. That can be useful. Marks the location of all power seals. Incredibly useful. Adds a counter on the world map for the amount of power seals left in each area. Incredibly useful. Um, we'll probably focus on getting some of those. Um, of course, these are good. Um, gives you more key charges. Gives you more HP. And potions now fully heal. You know, Path Resilience, Demon's Bane. By mastering Patience and Focus, you can wait to passively charge your next attack, making you deal triple damage. That's what I was remembering was in the game, but I didn't remember when you actually unlocked it. But that is phenomenal. So, yeah, we, we want that. So, But first, we're going to go ahead and get Time Sense. So, um, This will make it so that there's kind of a tent 
on the map if I can, uh, do some things. It said switch to past and future. So, uh, yeah. Bang, bang. Alright. So, we want to get over here. So, yeah, as you can see, that little blue sparkle on the map. That's showing me, uh, that some stuff can happen. I could have sworn you could teleport between these. Like... Yeah. Yeah. I could have sworn you could teleport between those, but... It, it's whatever. We'll just- we'll just walk over there. A lot of the game now is just going to be kind of retreading old areas and such, so... We're gonna be doing a whole lot of that. And we also have new upgrades to get, which is very, very fun. And the game looks different, so... Uh, yeah, just go over here... And... we're here. So, I need to... It's saying I can do... Some swaps here. Um, we haven't actually unlocked the ability to swap yet, though, have we? Have we? Am I crazy? Am I actually crazy? We never actually got the ability to swap yet, did we? Yeah. Um, well, I mean, it's shown in the trailers, so those unfamiliar with the gimmick of this game is, um, you get the ability, these, these rooms look different since we're in the future, um, and you gain the ability to, uh, kind of swap between the two because there's different versions of every single room, um, and that's why I got that thing because it marks where it's good to do that. Oh yeah, you walk through these, it's not an ability you use. That's right. So yeah, we have those little gates. And, um, when we walk through one of those little gates, we- we swap back to the other time period, which totally changes, you know, the room in some places. So, yeah, that's what I was thinking of. <laughs> so. And that's why there's a 8-bit and a, um, 16-bit version of every single, uh, song, because you just do this throughout the entire game. So, you see these little areas that I was like, I'm pretty sure I can do something with these, but I can't quite remember. That is how you do something with them. God, I love the messenger. Fucking love the messenger. Mm, it's such a good game. All right, there we go. Bang. And look at that. We got ourselves a new uh, checkpoint. So this is why I wasn't taking missing power seals and stuff too seriously before, because we were going to get the ability to do all of this. So uh, all of this obviously just makes it a lot easier. But yeah, I thought you could like freely, uh, swap. But, uh, I guess not. It is very nerve-wracking to, uh, jump into spikes. Uh-huh. There we go. Cool. And now we are over here. But yeah, this was the coolest reveal for me. I legitimately thought I was, like, kind of close to the end of the game and the whole gimmick. Um, was just going, you know, I didn't really look at trailers for this game. Um, so that gimmick totally caught me off guard. Like, completely, so. And yeah, sometimes you have to swap in, like, a weird fashion like that to be in the correct time when you go through an area, because since they are set places, um, you can kind of get screwed up sometimes, so. We actually need to fall through here. But yeah, and also we can get an upgrade that just marks all the power seals on the map for me, if I do decide that I want to get all of those. It is a cool upgrade, I, I will say, so... Um, it is certainly tempting. Uh, let's use this to swap. And then, uh, go over here and swap so we can actually get through here. It's gonna look really confusing. But, uh, yeah, basically you just... Whew. Oh, I'm glad I just hit that save point. Um, yeah, it's gonna look really confusing sometimes because I'm just gonna be doing things and then stuff's gonna be changing, but that's effectively how it works. You just get different versions of every single room. So, it's a fun time. Bum, 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 bam, 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 bam. Whoop. Die. There we go. But yeah, I can't wait to get the charged uh, sword attack upgrade that we saw there in the shop because that's one of my favorites because, you know, it reminds me of Mega Man and frankly a lot of things. Uh, I was one of the people that used charge a lot in um, Cuphead for the same reason because you can kind of just wait for an opportune moment to attack and then you get triple damage off of that. So instead of trying to get a bunch of weak attacks, you can just go for one big strong one, 
which uh, is in incredibly, incredibly helpful. So, really, really like that. Uh, interesting. So, because I don't even really need that. Alright, let's take a peek at the map again. So yeah, we're almost at the point over here. So yeah, anytime we see blue sparkles on the map here, it's basically just telling us, hey, there's a bunch of, uh, there's a bunch of shenanigans you can do here. Like I said, I swear at some point we get the ability to fast travel between the, the, like, big, fully, um, like, still intact doors, and, um, some of the other doors. I swear that's a thing. Because, uh, that's why they, you know, specify between the broken ones and the other ones, so. Here's our first music note. What a wonderful item to collect in a game with such good music. You got the key of hope. Materialized from the repeating intentions of countless villagers wishing their messengers well over past cycles, it is one of the notes needed to create a melody that will break the curse. And there we go. We have made it true. So, yeah, now we can go up there. And yeah, you basically just have to keep an eye on the map. Because, uh, yeah, as you can see, there's another one right there. And then there's one down here. You know, a few various things uh, that we can go to, so... We missed a lot going through the first time when we were just a baby messenger and didn't know what we were doing. Oh, I... Alright, so... This isn't even the room I need to be in yet. But, yeah. I was about to cut there, but I was like, eh, we just got introduced to this. I should probably show, because these are all different rooms this time. Uh, because we are in the, uh, The, um... Different time periods, so... Yeah, normally we would not have been able to get up here. Like, if I switch back to this time period... Yeah, see, that's blocked off. So you swap to this. And there will be some very cheeky ones. Where they they hit them absurdly well. Like, you gotta go out of your way to hit, like, one specific trigger... To swap you to a certain time period. And then you come back. Like, there, there will be a lot of those. But... There's another seal. Couple ammo. Good. Uh, I was not ready for that. Okay, so... We're good there. And boom! That just takes us right back here. So now we can go back and do other shenanigans if I, uh, if I please. Like, over there. Because, uh, you know, there's two over there that I actually missed. Um, well, I can go down in that room with the power seal. I think I remember that room, actually. So... Let's, uh, go hit some stuff up. Don't really have enough to afford anything. Oh, hey, it's a jukebox now. What's that? Ah, uh, yeah, the jukebox. Jukebox? Really name, huh? I brought it back from one of my journeys through time back in the day. Not sure what it's for, but it looks pretty cool. What happened to the cabinet? Oh, I teleported it somewhere else since we didn't need it anymore. Where is it now? That's something you may or may not find out later. You unlock the jukebox. Play your favorite tune in the shop or access it through the pause menu to change the level's track. I like the merchant, the, the shop music too much to change it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm in too much love with the with the shop music, so. We don't really need the hints, I don't think. Um, we're just gonna take the teleporters to these various areas and do some things. I really hope I'm not missing something with like the uh, teleporting. Like, you can totally teleport between those things now and I'm just forgetting. But, uh, I don't think I am. I feel like it would have told me if I could freely teleport between those things. So, uh, yeah, we want to go up and to the right. Okay, so these things, uh, we- I didn't actually interact with them before. Um, so this is what they do. They create, like, you hit them, and they create a little field that takes you back into a time period just for this specific area, which means the platforms and stuff are totally different. Isn't that wild? Um, also there's totally a platform right there, but I can't seem to jump on it right now, but yeah, I just- I just wanted to showcase this because we had not seen it yet. I was- I thought we had. Um, but no. Ow. 
Owie. Oh my god, I realized as I was walking there, I was like, wait, but no, I can't cut this out. I keep thinking I need to, like, cut this stuff out, because we have been through these areas before, but they know- they are actually different. That is my bad. So I'll probably be silent there for a few seconds, weirdly. Um, but, yeah. Alright. Sometimes we'll be going through areas we've been before, but we do need to be careful. Because, uh, can't just cut everything. Okay. This one's kind of a pain. You know. Obviously. Here. I feel like I need to drop there just a little bit faster. But yeah, this is where you start getting a lot of the, uh... A lot of the power seals and stuff, like right about now. That's what I was trying to do, and I panicked. Well, we did it, but it's got to be better. So drop now. There we go. There we go. Give me that power seal. Yeah. But yeah, it feels so nice to be at this point of the game because it really, really starts to open up at this point just a ton. Um, it is also nice enough to mark where we got power seals on the map for us, so, um... No, that's cool, too. Ugh! I almost fell right in there. Let's drop down here. So I think this was a death pit, um, in, uh, 8-bit land. But, uh, here? Not so much. We can just freely go down here if we want. But this was, like I said, just the biggest deal to me. This is- this is the point where I fell in love with the game. Like, the game was good before. Um... And, uh... I was very, very much into it, but this was the point in the game where I was like, oh my god. This is amazing. Um, I actually started playing this game specifically because, um, I was in a Discord and I was asking for good video game sound- like, what games have good video game soundtracks, because I was trying to get motivated to play something, and that's a good way to motivate me. And multiple people mentioned this. And that was what made me do it. Um, that, that was what made me play the messenger, and I was like, holy shit, they were not lying. Um, so... I think the person that actually recommended this to me is, uh, actually someone that watches the channel, which is cool, so... Yeah, they're the reason that I, uh, played this for the first time. <laughs> which is just crazy to think about. So, yeah, now we have a transition to a new area. This takes me... Dude, this is probably the catacombs, right? Yep. Yep. We're back. Look at us. So here we are. And I think I can walk over here and maybe do something, but I'm probably going to want to go back to that previous area, if I'm going to be honest. Just because uh, there is still a little bit to do there that we have not seen. But, uh, I don't know. Like, if I can get up there, I can kind of exit out of here and get back over there. It'll be kind of a long walk to get back to where I was, though, which is kind of a pain. But let's let's at least walk over there. Like I said, this is going to be a weird part of the playthrough because I'm going to have to choose what I want to keep in, what I want to cut out. Um, for the most part, you know, if I have been to an area in, like, now, we've probably seen most of it. There's one of those cheeky ones that I was talking about. Um, so, uh, yeah. It's, it's just gonna be weird to kind of balance. So that one seems like it was a much, much easier power seal to get when, uh, before this, because... Choose my boost to get through. Um, I can't... I, I would have had to come all the way back over here, switch time, and walk all the way back down there if I wanted to get that power seal now. How many are left? 36. That's honestly not too bad. Also, we can afford a new upgrade, can't we? Alright. So, um... I'm gonna wait on these. I'm gonna save these for kind of later in the game, because I really, really want to save up for some of these. Just to help me with, uh, some of the boss fights and stuff that we're gonna be running into. So, yeah, we- we will work towards those later, even though they are cheaper than most of these things. These are more important for me actually being able to beat bosses and all that jazz, so. Just a little bit of an explanation of why, uh, I'm not going to be getting that right now. So, um, world map. Uh, we want to go back to Autumn Hills. Now, Autumn Hills is going to take me right here, and I want to specifically go all the way across to the right and go down there. 
All right, so this is where we kind of stopped before. Um, I was just getting back to kind of the area we left off. Last time we went down and looped, uh, linked back up to that area, but we don't want to do that this time. So now <coughs> we want to continue this way and go the other path. Okay, we're still just going straight from here. Whew. It definitely seems like we're probably going to be wrapping this up about when I thought we would be uh, wrapping it up. So that's going to be good for uh, the schedule and everything. Because uh, now a lot of the game is just kind of running around. We will, of course, have more bosses and stuff. But a lot of it is just running around, kind of re-experiencing areas from a different perspective. Uh, and all that jazz. So. Bing, bing, bing. So we can't actually get there. Unless we, uh go into a different time. This takes me over here. So I need to find somewhere to change the time. Period. Um, hmm. Needs to be one over here. Maybe I can't get there right now. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I walked over here for nothing. Maybe I possibly can't get over there right now. Because uh, there's not a time change place nearby from what I can tell on the map. So maybe that's like a shortcut from another area to get there? Possibly. I don't know. We're gonna, we're gonna have to leave a question mark on that one right now because uh, I don't quite know what it's doing, but we can go ahead and make it to a uh, different area by going this away. Good stuff. So this is where we fought a boss fight last time. But uh, yeah, now we can use it to uh, transition over there. But that's most of Autumn Hills taken care of, uh, I believe. So we shouldn't really have to come back there much. So yeah, that links back down to that place, and obviously we have a lot of uh, new stuff we can do here at the Forlorn Temple. Which uh, we didn't really even come to that much, it seems, uh, before. But, uh, yeah, look at that. We got our little friends over here. How you doing, little bud? Hey, it's you again. Thanks for saving me earlier. I've been looking for my colleagues Acro, Claustro, and Pyro. Acro... Acrophobia, Claustrophobia, and Pyrophobia, huh? So, yeah, the whole thing with this is I think you need them to build a bridge for you. Um, I'm dead, by the way. Goodbye. Oh, never mind. No, we'll just fall. We'll just fall. Okay. <laughs> I thought I was super dead. All right. Well, look at that. We're back down here. So, uh, yeah, for that, I believe we got to find those four, and then that'll allow us to access uh, kind of a new area there. So, that's cool. But, yeah, we're back over here now. Going to re-explore this zone in 16-bit. Uh, so, it seems like, yeah, there's some, there's some time shenanigans going on here. Um... That being said, it doesn't really look like I'm missing any rooms here. Let's see, okay, we're missing a room once we get, like, way down there. So we are gonna have to work towards that. Go away. Bing. Okay, you little shit. Die, die. Uh... Go away, you two. So... Yeah, I could get up there. But I think I've already done whatever that is. It's probably just like a uh, bit of currency or something. Uh, so we want to get to that because I need to to get through here. Okay, that was scary. There we are. I love just getting to hear the music swap over. It's really, really cool when you're experiencing the uh, butterflies because you get to hear the two like music swap a lot. Just back to back to back because you're going in and in the orb, out of the orb, and all that jazz. So it's a really, really fun time. Alright, so where's the actual teleporter in this place? Where does it put you? Because there should be a teleporter to here. Maybe I haven't accessed it yet, so it's not unlocked. Because some of them were not unlocked, if you remember correctly. Ow. So that's still something we gotta grab. Because I do think you have to unlock the teleporters first by finding them once, and then you can kind of just freely go there whenever you want. Okay, that was a thingy. Yeah, now we're back to where we kind of came down from that other area. 
yeah, the shortcut back to Autumn Hills. That is the thing too, the game does have like a lot of shortcuts you can make use of. And everything, so makes the whole uh, journey here a little bit easier. So looks like I need to go up there. Whee. And here, and down. Whoa. Fantastic. I got knocked back into the crusher. Alright, we're back, and we're through. So, yeah, we just gotta go a little bit more to get to where I wanna be. Okay, we're good. We're fine. No worries at all. Um, that, thank you. That was kind of terrifying. I was really, really choking super hard there. But we're good. We're good. And we're very, very close to the room that I want to be at. Yeah, sometimes these walks to different areas can take a very, very long time. Um, so... That'll be something we need to deal with. Especially if you start dying a ton while uh, going to the various areas. And even worse, if there's a particularly pain in the ass power seal there that you're gonna have to deal with. Uh, let's go ahead and get up here. There we are. Bye bye. So, here is a room where I think, yeah, some shenanigans happens here. Um, so if I go back here and do this, and then we go back to this room, yeah, that's what we're supposed to do here. As you can see, there's like a little tiny breakable block there. There we are. Just don't fall into the badness. And now we can get up here. Good. And now that's new stuff. So let's go ahead and drop. And this might lead down to the teleporter for this area. I'm not sure. We'll see, but it's at least gonna have something different. Hi? It's a new area? Uh, oh, I, I didn't mean to leave. Sorry. Oh. It's a dark area that I can't see in. Well, uh, methinks we may need a, uh, an item or something for that before I can continue there. <laughs> Call me crazy. But, uh, yeah, don't think I can do that right now. Um, I'm gonna try to do a little bit more because I don't quite have a good idea of um, How long the video is going to be because yeah, I mean I don't know what I have and have not cut out and all of that jazz so we'll go for a little bit longer and See where things are from there So up here And then yeah Just need to make it up here a little bit more Good. Good. Ow, not the whiz robes. God, I hate the whiz robes. I hate them so much. Go away. Can't you see I'm trying to do things? Alright, one room to the right and then we're good. I didn't even know those spikes were going to appear, I'm going to be very honest. <laughs> I had no idea what was going to happen there. Bye. There. So... No, there was one up there. In this room, in particular. Aha, there it is. I see. Okay. Just need to watch out for... Well, now we have a bit of a problem. There we go. Okay, and here's a power seal for me. And they were nice enough to pull it a um, save point at this one, which means I'm going to die a lot trying to get this one, probably. That's usually what it means. If they're nice enough, quote-unquote nice enough to give you a save point, means you're gonna die. Just like that. Just like that. So, uh... Apparently, I need to get a better timing on... I thought it would have reset, but no, the blocks don't actually reset after you die. Interestingly. Okay. Boom. Well, I was right about me dying. I didn't die too much, but I did die. <laughs> so, 
So, thank you. And there. So, yeah, that's probably where we'll go ahead and end this episode off. But, yeah, as you can see, there's a lot more depth to these areas than we saw the first time. Um, the prophecies are trying to lead us to the music notes, but just by exploring, I generally think we'll be pretty okay at finding what we need to find. So, there's only one more room I haven't been into here, for example. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.